Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. This morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities, to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Please! Madam President! Please! Please? Over here, please. Madam President. Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing. The security of the state is another. These Deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Madam President. Please. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Madam President! Please! Please. Madam President. What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Please! Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Please? Over here, please. Madam President! Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model three one three two four eight three one seven. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead.
Follow me, we'll escort you. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub-49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Stay here.
вечная пасть. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. We're going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I say! Are there many more? Look at them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you find. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. Freezing my nuts off. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Got orders to check all civilians. No. No! Please! Fucking androids. Alice. She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice! Luther! I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Until I say so. ID, please. Be 
do realize there's a curfew. Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? We're going to take a bus across the border. Put my daughter someplace safe until things calm down. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's not used to seeing soldiers. She's a little scared with everything that's happening. I'm sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. What's going on, Deviants and Draconians? Draco Invictus here with part one of Reclamation Day. This is the final chapter of the game. Now, don't worry, there's going to be lots more coming. <laughs> this is just part one. The final chapter was actually really, really long, so I wanted to break it up into digestible pieces and seemed like a perfect point to stop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We got to see Connor and some more of his kick-ass fighting and Connor's a badass. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Connor is a badass and I really love the action sequences that they built for him. We finally get to see inside cyber life, not just some distribution plant or something like that. We're actually in the building. So that was very, very cool to see all of that and see all of the androids just standing there, just waves and waves and waves of them. So this is all very, very cool. And we get to, again, see the fight sequence in the elevator. Very well done. Love the action sequences. And it, this was very exciting. And then we move again. The pacing in this game is incredible. It's very much the roller coaster. We had the high of Connor. And then it brings us down and kind of settles us back out with more of a stealthy kind of a thing with Kara and Alice moving through the city, hiding from the army and making their way toward the bus terminal. We finally get to catch back up with Luther. We rescue him. So now we made it through the checkpoint. And there's a reason why, and I actually go back and I, and you'll see in the game, if you go back and watch the footage, we have just under 10 minutes left to get there and if we go through the checkpoint it's like three and a half four minutes something like that if we take the detour it's 11 minutes i did not want to miss this bus i i i'm tired of these girls and luther being <laughs> just totally without any control so i said you know what i have to go through the checkpoint i again it's more risky you know, the safer bet definitely would have been to take the detour, but it's obvious we would have missed the bus. Based on the times that it has given us in the game, bus leaves 10 minutes, detour takes 11. It was a no-brainer. Go through the checkpoint. Take the risk. It actually went really, really well. I'm glad that Luther trusts Kara when she said, don't do anything. You wait for me. And because he trusts her, he didn't do anything. And they were able to make it through the checkpoint with no issues. There was the tense moment there, you know, with the whole glove thing. And so, and why isn't she wearing both of her gloves? I know she's an android and she doesn't feel cold. I actually left that decision in there. So you guys could see that she has a setting that Kara disables so that Alice isn't going through the hot, I'm hot, I'm cold, I'm hot, I'm cold thing anymore. So that's all disabled now. So I left that decision so that you guys could see that that they did prompt us for it. And now you understand why she's not going, nah, I'm cold all the time. But we made it through the checkpoint and that is where we are going to end part one. So of course, to be continued with the next episode, I have not pieced out how many more episodes I'm going to get out of this finale. I know it's going to be at least two. It could be three. 
And then I have some additional content coming afterwards, more Detroit stuff. So obviously stay tuned for all of that. If you're new to this channel, go back and watch from the beginning. Watch my story, my Detroit Become Human story from the beginning because I edit out all of my, well, most of my decisions. So you guys only see the reactions to those decisions. I appreciate you coming by. If this is the first time that you've been to my channel, the first time that you've watched anything that I've done for Detroit Become Human, I want to thank you for coming this far. And for all of you that have watched every single episode that I have done for Detroit Become Human, I want to thank you very, very much for coming along on this ride with me. I always enjoy your guys' comments, your thoughts down below. Some of you guys have differing opinions on how I should have, what direction I took. But again, this was my first playthrough. I've never played the game before. I haven't seen all the footage and all that stuff. I don't know what to expect. I'm just trying to think as best I can on how I want to direct these characters. But I always appreciate how you guys would have done. I love hearing that. I love having those conversations with you guys. So please continue to leave comments down below. And until next time, Deviants and Draconians, you take care of yourselves out there. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya!